Supplemental math videos from Circle Christian School. Math, math, fraction fun. I want hot dogs in a bun. Find the factor, factor, and domain. Cancel top to bottom to be the same. All right, let's find the uh, factors of the numerator and the denominator in the first equation. Uh, we're going to do that by factoring, taking out the greatest common factor. Uh, first one we see we can take an x out. The whole thing is that we want to find the domain, so we're going to have to factor, factor, find the domain, and that's going to allow us to be able to cancel things. So that's going to leave me with an x minus 5 up top, taking it to the primes here. That's the whole thing. Uh, the bottom one's a nice quadratic equation. So it kind of sets up for a nice perfect little double bubble. Take a look at the first guy because there's a one here. I love those. These are the nice and easies, the easy peasies. We know this is going to be x. Take a look at the last guy. Factors for a negative 3. So we have a 3 and a 1. And whatever we add together there is going to have to give us a negative 2. Big number carries the sign. So there's a negative 3, a positive 1. Anytime, remember, you can always stop this, take a look, run it back, uh, see if you can hear me again. If you still don't get it, you're going to have to shoot me an email. I'll make you your own little personal little. Okay, to find the domain, we're going to have to set each one of the denominators. The reason why we factor is so we can find x, the roots, the zeros. And so the first one set to 0, x minus 3 equals the 0. So x would equal 3. Next one, x plus the 1 equals the 0. So x is going to equal a negative 1. So the two numbers that are a part of our domain here are going to be a negative 1 and a 3. If we put either one of those back into the original equation, we end up with a 0 in the denominator. Okay, moving on along, we're going to move to the next one. And again, I'm going to do the top and I'm going to do the bottom. Uh, all we're doing right now is just looking for the domain, so we're not having to worry about the canceling kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to look at the top here, uh, number to number. Remember, everything goes number to number, letter to letter. <laughs> That's an N. There we go have to white it out letter to letter and then when we start canceling you have to remember that it's also number to number letter to letter but then it becomes binomial to binomial oh my goodness I got a thing for the ends today you can put that down in your little video thing there that I have a thing for the ends I'll give you five points for it so binomial to binomial, let's see if I can get this right. Polynomial to polynomial. Okay, they have to be same things. All right, so I'm going to factor the top, the numerator, math geek speak, threes and nines, take a three out. X and X's, we're going to take an X out. Awesome. Okay, what's that going to leave us with? And, and remember, it's just kind of reverse distributing. So you have to think, gee, what did I multiply to the 3X to get a 3X squared? And all great outs to students said an X. I can just hear you screaming. Okay, and what did I multiply? A three. Yes, it was kind of quiet in there. And the bottom one itself doesn't need any factoring. Um, we just have a 12X. So again, since this is a factor, we're just going to go 12X equals zero. We're just looking for the domain. And so x would equal 0. So the number that x cannot be is going to be 0. Hey, I can fit it right there. All right, now if I wanted to factor this, I'm just going to kind of continue with what I have here. To factor this, again, I'm going to go number to number, letter to letter. So the first things we're going to look at is number to number. We got the 3 and the 12. The 3 cancels out. The 12 gives us a 4. Now I'm going to start going letter to letter. We have a 3, a 3, I'm sorry, an X and an X, and we have to cancel those out. So I'm going to cancel out this X to this X. Now I cannot, this is a common mistake, I cannot cancel this X in the parentheses. 
out with anybody because you cannot cancel over addition and subtraction only between multiplication from top to bottom that means factors only so that being said and done that's going to leave us with up and we have an x minus a 3 which you can keep in the parentheses there's no problem with that and a 4 down below there's our factor factor cancel okay I'm gonna give you a couple of quirky ones here and this is just going to be a constant reminder that if your poly is not in good order make it so so as I take a look at my first problem here before I start to do my little I notice that my top polynomial is running a little bit backwards here and so I'm going to put it into uh, proper order so I'm gonna put the x squared first remember it's always the highest degree and a positive 16 and we've got the bottom guy Yep. 2x minus the 8 all right now we're going to start with the top we're going to do factoring up top and remember that at any time that we have a negative hanging out front that also means that not canceled out we're going to have to uh, distribute it out factor it out so I've got a negative here so I'm going to have to factor out that negative and that means I'm going to have to change on And one of the easiest things to do before you get really good with these is just keep going step by little step as you are inside here all right now I factored out the negative but remember what we have to do is factor completely inside here and I notice up top we have one of those really cool polynomials where we have a perfect square and another perfect square and a minus sign in between oh lo and behold it is that difference of two squares they do these a lot inside here so just kind of make sure that you catch them and that's going to be the difference of two squares here's 16 square of the second one plus then a minus and then we're going to do the denominator here a nice little double bubbly happening inside those nice and easy ones an x and an x and then we have a um, negative 8 so that's going to be 4 and 2 and I'm watching Mr. Washington here feed the puppy dog again he doesn't know that I fed the puppy dog earlier so now the puppy dog's waiting for a whole bunch of really great food from him. Okay, so we factored and we factored and now we can go and cancel top to bottom and get our results. Okay, uh, we take a look, see if we have any numbers to numbers. No. Do we have any letters to letters? No. Do we have any binomials to binomials? Ah, yes, we do. So I am going to cancel out some binomials very good just check everything from top to bottom and that's going to leave us with a negative x plus the 4 up top here and down below a x for the sign change put things into proper order at the very beginning it will make a big difference all right we're going to take a look at the next problem and it has a similar situation it has an equation that's not sitting in its nice little proper form so we're going to do a little switcherooey here and just put it into proper form okay nice little whittle here nice little whittle uh what's a good color let's do green um proper form okay proper form all right so the top part is going to change to a negative y to the third power plus a 4y 
and going to be over a nice little doubly bubbly also if you want to. You can go ahead and uh, factor the bottom, do the nice little doubly bubbly. And we have what? A y squared and a y squared, my bad. A y and a y. Wish the whiteout was bigger. Okay. A y and a y. And we have a negative 12 here. I need factors for a negative 12 that equal a negative 4. Um, and you can try a few, but if you really know your multiplication tables, and this is important, you need to know your multiplication tables. You'll think of 6 and 2 sign since it's a negative 4. 6 is going to carry the sign. Positive 2. Very good. And, oh, let's see. I can use a little side space here. So we're going to factor out a, uh, the top part here. Remember that we've got this negative sitting here, so that's what we're going to factor out. I'm going to factor out a negative. They both have y's in them. Great. going to factor out a y. That's going to leave me with a y squared. Change the sign. A minus 4. And I still got my little doubly bubbly hanging around down in the bottom. So the y minus 6 and the y plus the 2. Now remember that you have to factor completely, okay? And if you're not canceling anything out, in most cases, when you get to the more compu uh, compulated, compulated, comp, compu oh my goodness, um, complicated ones, there they are, complicated ones, then you have not done everything. And here it is again, the one that they love, this nice little difference of two squares. We're going to have to do those. Um, two and a two, my plus, my little minus, difference of two squares. Need to make my y look a little more like a y. And of course, my bottom little doubly bubbly. Y plus two. Very good. And now we're going to cancel top to bottom, letter to let, uh, number to number, letter to letter. Uh, it looks like all we got going here is binomial to binomial. There we go. And that's going to leave us with a negative y, everything left across the top, the y minus the 2, and then the y minus the 6 which you can keep and watch that common mistake. I know what you want to do. You want to take this Y and cancel them out somewhere down below, but you cannot cancel over addition. Really try to avoid. All right, sorry, I couldn't resist a little bit of geometry inside here. And so what we have are, um, actually two very similar triangles. Uh, similar triangles, you'll remember, happens when you have parallel lines inside of a triangle, especially when you have a right triangle, you definitely have some similar proportions in here. And the question is, let's find the ratio of the area of the shaded portion to the total area of the figure. All right area area of a triangle oh my goodness geometry area triangle hmm may have to check that out but it's a good one to go and learn one half the base times the height one half the base times the height and in this case this is going to be a little bit more beneficial to use than the base times the height over two so try to remember that just a little more beneficial. So I'm going to take what is happening for the area of the big triangle. Uh, what did it say? The shaded portion. So the shaded portion is a part of the big triangle here. So I'm going to take the shaded portion here and find the area. And the area of it is going to be one half the base. And the base is 2x. So I got one half 2x, and 
and the height, which is going to be 2x. Very good. All right. So let's take the... Um, smaller triangle here, here, and make it a ratio here to the smaller triangle, which again is the base, which is x, and the height, which is x plus 1. All righty. Now, all ratios are some sort of comparison, and that comparison uh, has a resultant of looking a lot like a fraction. So what we're going to have to do again is that factor, factor thing. So I'm going to take a look at the top here. Um, first guy here, the halves are, uh, see a little bit on the next one here. So let's do a little bit of uh, breaking out the factors here. Uh, my next one is going to have a 2, and we're going to get an x plus the 1. And everybody on the bottom, they're already pretty much factored. And we have an x plus 1. Very good. All right, going back to our rules, number to number, letter to letter. Uh, let's see. The halves can say goodbye. Um... The x's, which are factors, can say goodbye. The x plus 1 binomial to binomial, they can say work across the top. And we have left the 2 and a 2, which is going to be 4. And, oh my goodness, everybody canceled. Ratio of the area of the shaded portion to the total area of the figure is 4. And look at that. You thought geometry was ugly. It's not. It's just shapes. All right, guys. Go out and make your own cheer up. And if you come up with a really great rational expression cheer of what to go and do here and write it out, make sure that it has at least four sentences to it here to make a cheer. Write it in your book. And I've got 50 points, 50 star points just for you.